guys, it's Rev from Into Gaming, and I'm just going to do a quick video here showing uh, the hit boxes, so to speak, on an Unreal Engine player. Um, they're not really boxes, they're capsules. Only the feet and the hands actually use a box collision uh, shape. So, um, I'm also going to run through this to do a little animation sequence having the, the little bot here move with collision showing and uh, I'll show how the collision boxes or hit boxes actually um, stick with the player model so with that go ahead and turn on collision so we can see it real quick all right um, ignore the capsule around the player that's used for different reasons um, but you can see on the player itself there's multiple collision capsules making up there's one for the head there's actually one in the neck there's one going across the upper chest you have one in here for the spine thighs you know they're all over the place but that's the collisions um, you can see it on my player as well. Anyway, um, I'm going to get this guy moving and then I'm going to break out. I'm going to eject from my player so I can actually follow him in, in a slow mo kind of way. So I'm going to get him running. I'm going to time dilate, eject out of my player, and there's my player. And then I'm going to resume. So I turned on time to my dilation so you can actually see it. Hit boxes are staying with it because they're bound to the skeletal mesh in the uh, the physics mesh. So you can actually see it. Sticking with the player. And generally the capsules aren't <laughs> much bigger than the actual skeletal mesh. There you go. Hitboxes on an Unreal Engine 4 character moving and s dilated the time here. Um, I'm going to repossess my guy. Actually, I'm just going to zoom this and then. Let him run at full speed. So he's booking it. Um, get him to run to another point. You can see him. They're not really lagging behind. I get him to come back to this one. And what I'm going to do is eject out again. And then we're going to do a frame skip. I mean, they're right there with them. Or completely with them. Um, and by the way, this is uh, running at 120 hertz, roughly 119, 120 hertz. So as the server at 120 tick rate, and you can see in here with each frame how much the player moves it's basically five centimeters um, this is standard movement speed of 600 centimeters per second <laughs> um, which is 0 0.6 centimeters a millisecond so 120 hertz take you're gonna see the character move at ballpark 4.998 centimeters somewhere around in there um, 60 hertz it's going to double that, so basically 10 centimeters, and at 30 hertz, he would move, I think, what is it, 20, 20 centimeters ballpark, it's 19.998 or 996 or something like that centimeters per frame, so per tick, at full velocity, and he's running at full speed. Um, anyway, uh, stop the simulation here. Uh, get back over here and I'm going to play it again 
and I am going to turn on the collision and we're going to do um, I'm going to do some hit scan this is hit scan ray traces for shots fired you can when they hit the hit something they do a little red block and I also have projectile in here set up they're not moving super fast um, I think they're ballpark 100 meters a second um, in comparison to something like an M416 in real life is 880 meters a second um, pretty fast but when they hit the player on the collisions um, you're going to get a little explosion effect and you're going to see where it collided with the player it's in there can see the uh, the ray cast being it turns green after a collision so. this is, this is all the beauty matter distance it's an instant hit on um, trigger pull now with projectile let me get real close to the guy real quick um, projectile got to draw a collision point where it collides with the player. You can see the collisions on there. Hitting right on the collision capsules. Detonating. Now the character's moving, so you see how it's wobbling back and forth. That's just a idle animation. So they're lining up. Where's he at? Let me highlight the hit scan real quick. Right here. Turn on my collision so I can see the little dude. That's pretty good. See how long it takes? Hit scan. I mean, as soon as I fire, it's hitting. Projectile. Play. Click. Play. Click. Play. Hit scan. I can get my crosshairs on them. Hit. Click. 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 All this red stuff's getting in my way. Click. I can just hit the dude. So it's instant. Hit scan is instantaneous regardless of the distance. Big difference. But my whole point was the collision boxes and highlighting them and how they really are in a game. They're really tight to the player. Tight enough. scan there you go hit boxes collision with projectile and hit scan hope that explains something